Hey, long riders, welcome back to Everything Fly Fishing. If you would like to try and tie a realistic caddis pupa, then you're at the right spot. If you're new here, click the button down there at any time to subscribe, or at the end of the video, there'll be another way to subscribe. Do that because you don't want to miss any of our upcoming awesome time videos. Like and share this video if you're on Facebook. And we still have an 86% of viewers that aren't viewing this video that aren't subscribers. So make sure you click the subscribe, the bell icon. And don't forget, we go live tomorrow at 9 a.m. So now, let's go to the tying vice. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors. We're going to start this fly in the usual way and debarb the hook. Or you can buy your hooks debarbed. Now we're going to take a piece of 0x tippet material or any other fly line you have that's about that thick. I mean, not fly line, uh, fishing line that's that thick. Now you can put that in your forceps, your uh, hackle pliers, whatever you want, and put about two inches on both sides of that, cut it off so there's about two inches sticking out of both sides. Then you're going to take a lighter and touch it onto that piece of uh, line you have sticking out, and slowly it'll turn into a ball. Then you can let that cool off inside them forceps with your hackle pliers and when you're done these will be your eyes now while them eyes cool down you want to take some brown thread and you want to wrap it about halfway back and come back in and get ready to tie them eyes in Now your eyes should be cool enough, you're going to grab the eyes, and what you're going to do is lay that, the eyes, on top, put one thread wrap over them, put them where you want, and then another thread wrap over top of them, and you're just going to figure eight them in like you would a wing on top of a dry fly. One thing to keep in mind while you're tying these eyelet, eyes in is leave a little bit in front of the eyes and behind the eyelid of the hook. You're going to need a little gap there. Now, we're going to take your thread all the way back to the bend of the hook where you're going to start this fly. And then get it out of your way. Put it in your material holder. Wrap it around the, something on your vise. Put in that little springy thing you have there. Get it out of your way. Alright, going to take some lead now. And you're going to wrap that. Start wrapping that. You're not going to go back all the way back to where your thread is because you're going to leave some room there. And you're going to wrap one, a bunch of wraps up to about almost to the eyelet. And then you're going to break it off. Then you can go back and you're going to go a f back oh, almost three quarters of the way the other one of the other thread, uh, the other lead. And then you're going to wrap it again 
and then go a little bit past the other the end of the other lead and stop it's gonna make a taper bite it's gonna go and that's why we put the lead in this way Now you take your thread, wrap, cover up that lead, start tapering that body, make the body look good. It'll be really important you have a nice smooth taper on the body. Now we're going to tie in some really light olive yarn. It's, it's a tying yarn. Basically, it's woven yarn. So I took some of this brown scud back. I cut a little bit off of it. The quarter inch was a little wide. I cut a little bit off of it. Made it more like, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch. But anyway, I cut a little bit off of it. And then I'm going to tie that in. Notice when I'm tying in this scud back, I am using that to also help smooth out the tapered body. It's kind of pretty important. You'll see when we, as we go to the next step, how it's going to be be important here. Now, what you're going to do here? This is really cool. I'm really excited to show you this. You take that thread and you're going to do one wrap behind that scud skin, then one in front of it. Then you're going to take this nymph, that scud skin, lay it on top, one wrap over it, and you're going to peel it back. Then you're going to do two wraps, turn it over, one wrap the thread over top of it, pull it back, two, two wraps in front of it, pull it over, one wrap over it, pull it back, two wraps over in front of it, pull it over, and one wrap over it. So you get right behind that where you're gonna start your thorax at. I would say leave about halfway up. And then you're gonna tie that off. And this is gonna make a really cool, realistic body to this fly.
Now we're going to take a light tan wood duck feather and we're going to cut out the middle of the tip of that feather. Then we're going to pull them feathers back into a V and cut off the stem of the feather. And then you'll have two V of shape like that. And then we're going to wrap both sides of that feather around the hook like so. And tie them. We're going to use them as legs. We're going to measure them so they're just right to the end of the bend of the hook. Now we're going to take some brown dubbing. In this case, we're going to use brown ice dubbing. And we're going to take brown ice dubbing and put dubbing in front of that nymph skin. All the way up to the eyes and one wrap in front of the eyes. We're going to leave our thread in front of the eyes, take that nymph skin, pull it down over the eyes, and we're going to secure it down in front of the eyes. Now we're going to pull it back and put two thread wraps behind the eyes, and you're going to want to pull back on that, on that nymph skin so it gets to the, pulls that skin away from the eyelids, or the, the eyelid of the hook. Now you gotta take two turkey feather fibers out and you'll make sure you separate them. And you now you have your thread still behind your eyes. And you're gonna tie these in right behind the eyes. We're gonna kinda cut off the waist. Take your thread up to the front back right behind the eyelet and tie this fly off and whip finish it. And these damn uh two turkeys I they call them horns or antenna. Ah, I almost forgot about this step. We're going to go back and add some more dubbing right behind them eyes. And then we're going to move the thread to the front. We'll add a little dubbing in front of the eyes. And, and then we'll whip finish this fly and we're done. Now we're going to turn that fly over after we uh, whip finished it and we're going to pluck out some of that uh, dubbing underneath of the fly. Make it look a little more hairy, more legs and uh, make it look buggier. So once you're done with that, let's take a, uh, we're done. Let's take a closer look at this fly right here. <laughs> Hello, 
Long Riders, thank you for staying to the end of this video. That is a really realistic caddis pupa pattern. That is amazing and it works. Tie some of these up, get them in your list. The next thing we're going to go to is an emerger and then a dry and then we'll be done with caddises and then we'll probably go to the first mayfly. Okay, so make sure you don't miss any of these these uh, awesome fly tying patterns. Click here. Now, for you guys that are still here, here's your reward. I'm going to put a video up here of one of these caddises pupas emerging. So go check that out. Then come back here. All right, welcome back after checking out that video. This is a really cool video, ain't it? Um, I want you guys to check out the link. There's an awesome book in the link below this video. We're going to have a list of materials that we t use to tie this fly listed below. And all the materials I guarantee that are in here are going to be in the list below. And viewers asked me, you know, if you were watching this channel, I'd made, I'd come out with shirts and they're like, I don't want the picture of the real bug. I want the picture of the fly when it's done tied with the recipe on the back. So we changed them. So we'll go to our store and check that out too. Check out them shirts. They're really cool. Um, I know they're kind of high, but as price-wise, I think they're $22. But we're still only making, uh, I think, $2.35. Not much. So make sure you tell all your friends about the cool shirts. Share it like crazy. Tell all your friends. And uh, we'll be doing a giveaway of the shirts later on next month. So make sure you check these out. Keep these shirts live. Get your friends to buy them. And then we'll do a giveaway if these shirts, if people buy them and the shirts stay live. And we're going to do one of these for all the different bugs we're going to tie. Well, not all the bugs, but you know what I mean? Each one. We're going to do a midge, a caddis. So that's really cool. But make sure you check out the uh, All American Fly, or the. Uh, book a little we'll talk about that tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. make sure you catch that see if you want to if you want to stay to the end of the video when it caught all this you got to be here at 9 a.m. tomorrow we're gonna Eastern Standard Time so if you're on the West Coast that's gonna be 5 in the morning I think I don't know I think that's how that works so make sure you listen for that and when you subscribe make sure if you haven't done it click the bell and that'll let you get a notification when we're live. So do all that. Subscribe. Thank you for watching this awesome caddis pupa hat or pattern. You gotta tie these. You gotta tie all these. Go back in. Watch your old episodes. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna make it easy for you. Right here they are. Boom! Right there they, they are. Go check them out. Check out our other time videos. You don't want to. You want to get all these flies tied in your box. Boom! There's one just for you. Boom! There's where you subscribe. Keep your lines wet, out of the trees, and only give them fish a sore lip.